Let's take a look at the Retro Dodge Challenger. No, we're not going to pull a Kowalski from the 1971 movie Vanishing Point and drive into a barrier, but we will have Elon drive it around the block and give us his opinion on this beautiful retro vehicle. All right, Elon, we've come down to Memory Lane Motors and we bought the uh, 2009 Dodge Challenger, which has a 6.1 Hemi in it. Um, just taking a look at the outside, how, do, how does this compare to some of the vehicles that you have, the classic vehicles that you have in here? The styling of this car, I, I think they hit it spot on. It's a beautiful car. It's a little bit bigger and, and heavier feeling uh, than the original cars, but the overall lines and the, the classic design, color combos, it's there. So uh, I know when we first pulled up in this, you guys said it was a little more meaty. It, the car, yeah, they're they're a bigger car. They just they look bigger, but when you're in it, it, it doesn't have that feel. It's definitely very sporty when you're in the car. But compared to the original, a little thicker through the quarter panels, a little more pronounced in some of the lines. But what a sweet car! All right, so we've uh, taken a look on the outside. Should we take it for a test drive? Absolutely. Let's, Let's go. go. They're definitely more positive feeling of a car. The sound's kind of pretty neat. It's pretty much about like a feel like you're in a real muscle car, but considerably smoother. The acceleration of the car is pretty impressive. The sound, the feel, I mean, it gives you that whole entire muscle car feel. It's a really pretty cool car. Definite, uh, much better handling car. A much better handling car than the original. Oh, retro styling is definitely the, the way of the future, in my opinion. The, uh, the other, other companies that have started doing older generation body styles, they, they've done a phenomenal job with this car. You can't afford no car like this. These fancy Italian jobbies cost a fortune. Even so, you've had a test drive of the car. How, how does it handle? Beautiful. These are neat cars. This is a car that you could really enjoy driving somewhere, but around town, what a blast. Corvette guy, a Viper guy, a Porsche guy, I don't see how you could knock this car. Now, this car. You didn't get any speeding tickets on this little drive, did you? No, but I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Have you noticed that, uh, and, and I noticed this too, if you take the ESP off, never do this. I, I didn't it, notice uh, that, but <laughs> You take the ESP off and you spin the tires for 20 minutes sitting in the same place. <laughs> Yeah. The, the, now the old versions of this car, there's much power? They have a totally different feel. This, the power of this car is it's real raw sounding, but smooth. The originals, much more raw feeling, more car shake and shutter. Um, definitely a faster, smoother car, but still something to say about that old school muscle feel. When you fully load this, you're talking about around $40,000, maybe just above $40,000. Um, when you fully load, uh, well, you have a fully loaded original Challenger, how much are we talking about nowadays? The prices have gone up dramatically. You can't afford no car like this. It, uh, sky's the limit. These fancy Italian jobbies cost a fortune. It's amazing, you can spend 120 to $200,000 rather quick nowadays. So, what would you rather have? Uh, Wait, wait a second, <laughs> your boss isn't listening, what would you rather have? Well, the old one, but <laughs> drivability-wise, phenomenal car. It's definitely here, but for that old school muscle car feel, it, it doesn't have quite that, but it definitely has a feel that, that is reminiscent of the originals. This is a neat car, that for the money, this is a much better car.